about some of the the victories on the battlefield, so to speak, with Ukraine lately, and, and maybe the most is their ability to shoot down some of these Russian rockets that were headed into the capital city of Kyiv. How big of a blow is this to Putin's war effort? I think it's critical. It's what we've been talking about for months. I mean, the Ukrainians need a way to protect their skies. Uh, most of all, so they can protect their civilians. Uh, and in my podcast this week, I talked to Tim Mack, who's also a U.S. Army veteran. He's now a journalist. And he talks about what it's like to be in Kyiv as these rockets are going overhead. He's posting audio. He's posting video to try to bring Americans and, and folks around the world closer to what it's like. And in the last couple of days and even hours, it looks like the Russians have waged a number of significant missile attacks and they haven't landed. They haven't really made significant damage on civilians and on targets. And I think that has to do with the increase in air assets and an increase in the American Patriot missiles and other weapon systems that have come online. And that barrier overhead will extend to the Ukrainian troops in Bakhmut and in the West and whatever kind of advance they have during this counteroffensive in the next couple of weeks and months and maybe even years. And what does he say about the momentum on the ground, on the battlefield? You know, I think he, he says that the Ukrainians are tough and they've dug in. We know that this is a stalemate right now in Bakhmut. Um, but he also talks about the resiliency of the Ukrainian people. He talks about what it's like in Kyiv, where there are still people going to school and going to bars and going to restaurants and they're trying to manage life as though it's normal, uh, in part so they can show that Ukrainians can survive and that society can go on. They're obviously supporting their forces in the West, but they're trying to keep their society going. Uh, and they're trying to show that Kyiv can be a model to the rest of the world of resilience and toughness and freedom and openness. Kyiv's a very open, modern place. And I think that's a part of this story that's also underreported. There is a civilian society there that's not directly in conflict every day, but has the threat of violence every single day. And that is significant, especially for children. Yeah, living in a war zone, yeah, trying to go to work or go to school. How do you explain this to kids? Um, I, I don't envy the position they're in. Um, this is a small thing, but worth mentioning. There have been some arrests internally in Ukraine for sharing videos and locations of some of the weaponry. There are concerns around that for obvious reason. That's rare, but is it something that does happen in battle that you find people who are giving too much away, sharing secrets? Yeah, frankly, it's what happens with young people. I mean, imagine, you know, hundreds of thousands of teenagers and folks in their 20s who have access to social media, who have access to email and text and SMS. They can throw stuff all over the place. So this is a concern for every modern military, every modern government. Um, we saw that here in the U.S. with the recent intelligence leak, that we have to be exceptionally vigilant about protecting our sensitive information, our top secret information and not disclosing anything that could prove as an advantage to the enemy. So I think Putin similarly is going to have this problem. The, the oppression there is much stronger, but he's also got an entire population within Russia that might get uh, an interest in sharing information or might just get sloppy and accidentally share something with someone else overseas or even in the U.S. And I know our intelligence networks in particular are really focused on trying to mine that data to get that content and provide any advantage we can. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.